Sir Lasa lang. So, kapag sir nakasama na sila dito sa listahanan, hindi na sila pwedeng maging part ng no, ibang program. No, quite the contrary. Mm. We will use the same base yung listahanan. Binaliktad natin, we got the zero, pinakamahirap, and look for one million of them. May bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order Number 27 o ang reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD accredited local retailers. We always say that poverty is a long game. Hindi naman natin kaya, we want to end poverty, pero hindi natin kaya subpoin ang kahirapan overnight. Pero may mga low-lying fruits eh, like ending hunger. We've asked so many people and it's doable. As early as two years, you can start gauging it according to literature. But four years is the graduation point because we can actually use our tools ng listahanan to gauge May characteristics yun eh. Remember sa proximin test, what, what a poor person looks like, meaning yung tahanan niya, ganyan. We will use the same gauge as well as the other methods being used by other survey outfits out there or research outfits out there. Sir Lasa lang. So, kapag sir nakasama na sila dito sa listahanan, hindi na sila pwedeng maging part ng no, ibang program? No, quite the contrary. Mm. We will use the same base yung listahanan. Binaliktad natin, we got the zero, pinakamahirap, and look for 1 million of them. Yung per capita nila is pinakailalim pa akyat till 1 million is hit. And then, this will sound very technical, but this is the amount of effort we put into it. Working with PSA, merong food insecurity uh, experiential survey, FIES ang tawag nila, F-I-E-S. Food insecurity experience survey, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there are characteristics also to what a hungry person technically looks like. So, if we filter natin yon, So, we'll draw out the per capita na pinakamahirap from the bottom 1 million. And then, isasala pa natin ulit dun sa filter that the FIES, that the PSA gladly gave us para makita natin kung talagang yung person na na-target natin ay eh mahirap. Now, there will be overlaps. Kasi remember, 4Peace is not your anti-hunger program. 4Peace was designed to keep our children in school at an early age. At ang conditionality niya is the nutrition, ah, the health side of it to make sure that our children get the right barangay intervention sa barangay health centers nila. But it is not a hunger mitigation program. So this is actually complementary to it. There will be overlaps. There will be overlaps. Pero hindi necessarily lahat sila the same. Because ang matatamaan dito malamang will be the poorest of the poor ng 4 piece. Pero may mga mahihirap na wala sa 4 piece kasi they did not meet the condition. Wala silang anak, so and so forth. Ending hunger is not just the government's job. Ending hunger is everybody's job. It's not right that a million Filipino families are sleeping hungry and saying na bukas, I've lost all uh, will to get out of poverty kasi chronic na yung poverty nila. Eh. Kung gutom ka ngayon, hindi ka makakapagtrabaho, bukas gutom ka na naman. And the cycle keeps on going around and around and around. May bagong programa ang Department of Social Welfare and Development kasunod ng pagkakalagda ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Executive Order Number 27 o ang reorganization sa Interagency Task Force on Zero Hunger. The program aims to alleviate hunger and poverty for families belonging to the lowest income bracket. With the Philippine Development Agenda 2023 to 20 transfers, that will be loaded with food credits amounting to 3,000 pesos to purchase a select list of food commodities from DSWD-accredited local retailers. 